to my channel. Hey yo, hey yo, listen up, listen up, yeah. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. The wireless woman. You in charge of the girls, right? I am in charge of the girls. Are you in charge of the girls? I am in charge of the girls. Okay. All right. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, Wi-Fi's. Welcome back to yet another underground transmission of the wireless woman. Go ahead and do me that big favor on your way in and like this video. Why? Because when you like it, well, I love it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel. <laughs> And click the notification bell for notifications of when I go live and when I upload new content. So today we are here to talk about something called femininities. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, anyone who's been around since season one knows that I used to do a lot, a lot of content around feminine energy dark feminine energy you know feminine energy comes in a lot of different forms dark feminine energy chaos feminine energy yeah it gets complex but when we look at feminine energy as a social construct well now we've got to look at it under a whole different lens so listen there is inherent physical power in masculinity and there is also implied intuitive power in feminine energy however somehow we've gotten completely out of balance with our understanding of these energies in the black community they are not two separate energies they are complementary energies of each other that are intended to be used in concert with each other when you remove one you're going to have an overabundance of the other and vice versa so there are a lot of men who have not harnessed the power of their feminine energy you'll hear them say things like oh you hit like a bitch my nigga or you know you run like a girl because there's this hyper amount of masculine energy that's usually compensating for a lack of something but it snuffs out this man's ability to express in feminine ways thus all of the pressure to be feminine expressing is now placed on the woman where she's expected to come into a situation with an out of balance amount of feminine energy in order to balance him out. It's that same 50 50 concept that I was talking about in my other video where yes, you're each bringing something that's different and complementary, but now you're co dependent on each other for it. Meaning I have no feminine energy, no feminine expression, no, uh, feminine energy in my life if you're not present to bring it and that should never <laughs> be the focus of a couple because we are able to harness these powers individually and to what extent we are able to harness the power as an individual will be how we show up in these relationships with each other but there is a social construct called femininities it is the work if you will that women do in relationships that women bring to society Femininities are considered social currency. So the same way we have these men running through the community like toddlers with scissors talking about, I got a passport. Well, what legitimizes that passport is the fact that it is 
being given under the authority of the country to which you belong. Because here's the thing. I can be an American citizen and live my whole entire life and never have a passport. The passport is what gives me authority in a foreign country to be identified as an American national. And here's the thing. I can have a driver's license. I can have a birth certificate. None of these things are an international authority that's able to give me authority in a foreign country to still be identified as an American national. Now, femininities work a similar way. So the same way you got all these slave owners on your dollars, like I'm still waiting on this Harriet Tubman $20 bill. I'm waiting. But we've got all these slave owners on our dollars because these are the people that legitimize the currency in this country. You, you, you see what I'm saying? Nat Turner can't be put on the dollar. You know, Malcolm X can't be put on the five. And we can't put Martin Luther King, why we would want to, I don't know, on a $10 bill. Because the government that legitimizes our currency has attributed value and work to these particular men. So when you go and you're buying things and you're pulling money out of your wallet and it's got George Washington on it or Abraham Lincoln or whatever, these are the value systems that have been established by the dominant society and the culture as being what we will use as currency in this society. Femininities are the same way. Femininities were established by the dominant male culture as being what the female feminine counterpart would contribute to society. So femininities have always been marked by being created as a social construct by men. Men are the ones who have created the feminine role and established what feminine energy is. I believe personally, because I am a student of dark chaos, feminine energy, that the ability to create, like y'all have to understand, sometimes I get frustrated because this was what Ayanna Van Zant was actually talking about in her interview with Ebony K. Williams that didn't end up being what we brought from the interview because of a catty petty soundbite but what she was saying which is actually true is that women have creative energy and I'm really tired of women being relegated to this space of acting out of the role that's been ascribed to them by the dominant society of men because it doesn't engulf women's capability and contribution that is able to be made to society you know, it has relegated women to a permanent, subordinate, secondary class of personhood that really doesn't even fit the society in which we live now. I'll give you an example. So I keep hearing men talk about masculine energy and women who are masculine, right? So technically, in order for a woman to actually give birth to a child. She would have to move from feminine into masculine energy. Have you seen a woman give birth? Do you know the amount of strength? I mean, physical strength and endurance it takes to do something like that. Like you have men on podcasts saying that a woman having an orgasm is masculine. So what about having a baby? I was in labor labor for 12 hours with my first son and 14 hours of active labor with my second son I'd love to see a man do that I would I would pay money like Jeff Bezos getting on SpaceX and going to the moon I would pay money like that to see a man do it like I would I mean, if I had it, pay. <laughs> but a lot of the work, the labor that women contribute to the household 
could definitely be considered masculine. If men want us in our feminine energy to the level that they say they do, why would we be doing housework? I ran across a video where the wife was talking about what her husband does in the household. Like her son literally told his mom to get out of the kitchen and stop cooking like a man. Okay, so y'all know how Desmond is the cook of the household, right? He cooks everything, he's always in the kitchen, blah, blah, blah. So he cooked this big elaborate meal and he left the food on the stove. So I said, okay, let me pack up the food. It's something he usually does. But let me go ahead and do it, right? My son caught sight of this. And you know what he said? He said, mama, why are you in the kitchen cooking like a man? The way my jaw dropped. And you know what? I couldn't even say anything. I said, you know what, son? You are right. And I walked my happy behind right back in the living room on the couch. This man is four years old. Like, he has no idea. I am not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. So these gender roles that we have, they have been prescribed by the dominant class of men. And that's fine when that works. But the problem is when we come back in as women and say, okay, in exchange for these femininities, this is what we expect. If I go into a store with $100 and I give to the clerk $100, I expect in return for that $100 a certain amount of merchandise. I only came into that store with money for the purpose of exchanging it for something else. So we cannot have inflation in the current, in the social currency that women use to enact power. Cause the point is not for women to be powerless. Unless I miss something. The point is supposed to be for women to use femininities, feminine energy, the social currency that's been prescribed to women to use in order to exchange it for masculinities the expected gender performance of men so here's the thing these abilities are available to both genders regardless of sex gender performance is a social construct based on the society in which people live. If we lived in the Middle East, we wouldn't be having these conversations about a woman's role and a woman's place because the social order in that country doesn't allow for that type of flexibility. For women, but here's the thing, or for men. Men are expected to provide for families, to provide for children. As a matter of fact, they are ostracized from society as men and males if they don't they're thrown out of their religious orders they're not going to be allowed to do their jobs there is an exchange rate for the performance the gender performance of women in these other countries so here's the thing american women we're getting the short end of the stick if we're going to be expected to perform both gender expressions, but only be able to use one of those for social currency. It's something to think about. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. But if you see what I see and you feel as I feel. But if you see what I see, if you feel as I feel, and if you would seek as I seek. Go ahead and drop that fire <laughs> headphones emoji in the comments where I look forward to engaging with you there. Until the next transmission, though, y'all already know the drill. You can him. Lock it out. Section leaders, what is our concept? One band, one sound. One band, one sound. <laughs>